Hi. <laughs> I'm reading from a thing so I don't cry, but I don't mind still. Anyway. So last year, Elizabeth asked me to blow the shofar at her 49th birthday party event. I thought it was really cool that she knew the significance of the Yobel or the Jubilee year, which is actually the 50th. But the shofar was sounded in the 49th as the preparation to make it known that the Jubilee is coming, that that 50th is coming. So I had said last year at her birthday that the sound of the shofar was meant to imbue the children of Israel, God's people, with any number of feelings. Last year I mentioned one of the functions of the shofar being sounded was to assemble the body, to bring everyone together. Um, I mentioned last year that, that that idea Elizabeth exemplifies in space. She brings so many things, people, dreams, magical moments together. The idea of the 50th, the Jubilee, being the year in which all indentured servants would be freed, struck me. In relation to Elizabeth, so when people who were in debt or enslaved in any way would hear this sound, they would know liberation, deliverance has come. How this relates to Elizabeth is that her voice, the voice being the impact she makes, to me, her voice has been freely offered in people's lives for so much positivity in so many ways whether it's talking for hours with a friend who's struggling with any myriad of the things that, that we women go through, or whether that be spreading the gospel, be it through the light that simply exudes from her, or via her saying the blunt truth. We are all faulted beings who need but one thing, repentance and acceptance of the free gift Christ, per Christ purchased. Uh, so the sound is freedom forever from condemnation, and this is what he accomplished. And she is not ever afraid to uh, sound that. So, so that's the voice that the shofar sends out to us, and it also will pronounce the return of Jesus. There will be the sound of the great. It's, it says trumpet in English, but it's shofar in the in the Hebrew. So. Um, you know, you know, <laughs> sorry, I should have just said it hard, but I'm just afraid to cry. You know, you know, Elizabeth, this is, okay, you do this, Elizabeth, as well, with each hug, with each smile, with each hour spent, and her laugh, her laugh, her love and exuberance for life is like a shofar sound that can be heard for miles and miles and miles. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. I am so grateful for the great gift of closeness, which God has told 